Hi friends, welcome to how PVC works. My name is Prashant Chede. I am a Microsoft Certified Solution Expert. And here I am going to deliver you the knowledge on uh, Microsoft Azure and I hope that will help uh, to help in your career and you will enjoy all the videos for this series. If you really like my videos and content uh, of the videos, so please you know click on the like button so that will motivate me to create a new uh, and more and more videos. And if you want the update for the upcoming video, so please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that will notify you whenever I will upload the new videos. Thank you so much. Hi friends, welcome to how PVC work and we are discussing on the Microsoft Azure. In today's session, we are uh, exploring uh, more about the Azure AD Connect as it is the part 2 video. In part 1, we have installed the Azure Active Directory uh, AD Connect and we sync with the on-premises Active Directory. Now, particularly in this session, we are going to explore the more options. Those are available uh, while we done with the uh, Express setting installation for the Azure AD Connect. So in additional tasks we can do, you know, we can configure, view the current configuration, we can customize synchronization option means, you know, what kind of syn synchronization we are going to uh, configure for your, our AD users and uh, refresh directory schema. So we can, you know, re refresh the schema with the Azure uh, AD. We can also configure the strategy mode for the uh, synchronization and uh, also, we can uh, we can change the uh, user sign in options, and we can you know update the certificate for the ADFS uh, SSL certificate and troubleshooting part. So, as you aware about uh, that, we have installed the Azure uh, AD Connect in our previous session. If you missed that session, so uh, don't worry, I have already pasted the link for this that session. So go and check that session. So uh, here we are going to uh, explore more options for the Azure AD Connect. Uh, so I'm just uh, trying to open the application. So uh, here we need to you know, uh, click on the configuration button. Once you click here, you will get the more options, the additional tasks, those we are going to configure. If you want to check the current configuration, so you need to just click on this option and then click on the next so it will come up with the current configuration of the uh, ad connect so it will show that which directory we are uh, you know syncing with the azure ad and the synchronization se settings that we have configured uh, so you can you know explore more on this uh, when you uh, once you sync with the uh, azure so just you know i'm clicking on the previous option so i can you know uh, move back so second option is customize synchronization option so once you click here and click on the next so here we need to uh, provide the uh, you know global user azure ad global administrator username and password so here i'm going to provide one username and password that we have already configured at it pgd dot in and the password for this per, uh, user once you provide this detail it will verify with the azure Active directory yeah it's you know validated all the details if you uh, if you have the multiple uh, directory or uh, in a forest so you can you know add the, those directory uh, using the add directory option and uh, if you want to configure particular OU means uh, if you are you know syncing uh, with the uh, Azure AD and uh, you know first time you are syncing with the Azure AD and you have the pilot batch means those uh, users and the developer or you know, any infra guys those are going to you know work on the uh, cloud platform and then you want to know first of all uh, the pilot batch will test all the uh, configuration that we have configured on the cloud so in that case we can you know use this kind of option so that you know particular OU will be you know sync and that user will be sync with the Azure AD let's you know uh, click on the OU's button so that you know if you know expand these uh, 
your domain option so you will get the uh, OU detail those are available into the Active Directory on-premises Active Directory if you see currently we are syncing up all the uh, OUs those are available into the uh, on-premises Active Directory if you feel that you don't want to sync all the uh, resources those are available in uh, on-premises just you know click on the uh, this option and after that you need to click uh, which OU you want to you know sync with the Azure so here I'm going to select the sales group uh, sales OU so that you know my sales uh, user uh, interacting with the Azure uh, Azure platform so I'm going to click on the sales and after that and my accounting people you know using the application those are available on the cloud platform so currently I am going to now sync these only two uh, uh, two uh, OU so just I can you know, click on these two things and you know, cl click on the next so that only these uh, two OU will be synced with the Azure click on the uh, you know OU uh, you will get these options so uh, these option uh, we need to you know configure according to our requirements means you know what kind of uh, uh, configuration we are going to do it's not necessary you can you know learn each and everything in a single um, single step uh, so I will provide you the uh, link detail so that uh, that detail link will be explained uh, about all these features how and when we uh, need to you know configure this feature so just go into the summary tab and check the link next option is refresh schema whenever you uh, you know did any modification into the schema and you want to refresh the schema just need to you know click on this option and click on the next and provide the global administrator password from the azure ad and it will you know sync the uh, schema with uh, azure active directory next option is configuring the strategy mode make sure that whenever you are going to you know, uh, you know make any strategy so you can you know cannot be reverted back so before making any strategy come with the plan and after that you know click on uh, you know select the strategy of synchronization so for the strategy i will share you the link so you can go according to the uh, documentation from the microsoft means you know how what will be your strategy means you know which uh, attribute you want to be uh, sync uh, with the azure active directory means you know it's lots of attributes are there uh, so you need to think on those attributes if you have your customer uh, custom attributes for your uh, on premises id so you can also um, seeing those attributes with the active directory so you know just go with the all the documentation plan read those document carefully and after that you know uh, come with your strategy for the uh, configuration strategy next option is change user sign in option once you, you know click into this option and click on the next you will get the sign in option you need to just provide uh, for this you know all the configuration you need to provide your global uh, administrator username and password so i am just providing here user1 at rate dot in and the it will verify the details oh shit i need to now provide the correct password let me try one more time click on next so it's verified the details so here you can configure the uh, sign on method means you know uh, whenever user going to uh, log in so what are the signing options should be uh, available means you currently it's password synchronization if you know see here so this option is saying that if you click this option so user can uh, use the existing on-premises username and password for login so 
if you know click the pass through so you will get the details for the you know if you configure the adfs for user authentication so it will help here even the uh, the next option for the um, federation with adfs so here are the documentation for this uh, option so you can you just go through with all the documentation before making any changes into the ad syncs because if you change something it will highly impact on your uh, production so once uh, you select uh, some option here so according to that the configuration panel will be changed if you know click on the adfs then you need to provide the credential adfs form then azure ad domain and configuration then you need to verify the detail with the uh, fed uh, 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 federation servers so this option will be you know change if you have the on premises uh, uh, adfs so you just you know click on here and you provide the uh, username and password for the adfs domain so currently I don't have any ADFS solution configured in my lab. So I'm not going to you know, touch here. So I'm okay with the uh, password synchronization as of now. We'll you know, uh, go to the next uh, settings. If you already you know having the ADFS configured in on-premises and uh, uh, the certification need to be you know update means you know sometime in that time you need to you know, upgrade the update the certificate so you just need you know, to click here and you know click on the next box provide your username and password and the all the details those are required here like you know connect to the ADFS farm then you need to you know federate what are the federation servers are there proxy servers are there you, and then there is one option for the SSL update and uh, SSL certificate once you know click into the SSL certificate here you, you will get the option to update your new um, certificate so that uh, your ADFS will work properly and last and more most important uh, option is troubleshooting means you know whenever something goes wrong with the uh, Azure A at, uh, AD connect so uh, we need to troubleshoot those issues so just you know you need to come here and click on the troubleshooting and click on the next so it will uh, you know launch the one prompt uh, powershell prompt here you, we can you know troubleshoot ada you know, connect issue so first option is saying that troubleshoot the password synchronization second one is collect general diagnostic and third one quit so as of now we don't have any issue in our uh, ad connect but you know if you want to troubleshoot so this is the very uh, uh, this is the way we need to you know troubleshoot the uh, ad connect issue so i'm just clicking on the cute button i'm out so guys these are the uh, you know um, important uh, task that we need to you know configure after if you select the express uh, setting option so just go through all these settings uh, as well as uh, um, go through the uh, link that I have provided into the uh, description. So go with the all the details. Uh, those are available on the Microsoft documentation that will help you to configure the of the uh, Azure AD Connect means you know what strategy mode you are going to apply, how to sync these uh, passwords, and uh, how you we can you know. Uh, connect with ADFS servers and uh, if you have the third party uh, SSO install on your uh, on premises so how we can you know, use it so just go through the documentation you will get more information over there so for this session that's it from my side, uh, side we will you know meet into the next uh, session where we can you know explore more uh, Azure uh, services those are available